uh, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Yemi Omoboyega. Um, kindly subscribe to this channel. Together we'll do it better. Then like the channel. At the same time, please share our videos. As you share these videos, you are helping to, if it is the gospel message that we delivered, you are helping to propagate the gospel. Then secondly, if it is a social message, just like the one I'm about to talk about, you know, it can be community, it can be general social issues, you are helping to build the nation. You are helping to um, make the society better. So please do not just watch. Subscribe, press the like button, and share. God bless you as you do so. Um, this afternoon, I want to address a few issues about our community. That is my town in Yekiti. In Yekiti. I did some few videos in the past. And I want to thank every one of you who watched that video. It was so encouraging. More than 300 and something people watched that video. I know that video must have made some impact. And I thank you for those of you who took your time to uh, comment on that video. It's so encouraging. But please, if you were 300, you can imagine, less than 10% of you subscribed to this channel. And more than 300 of you, 300 of you watched that video. Also, the one I did on um, RCCG, where I left RCCG, as of today, over 400 people have watched that video. And I'm so happy that you are watching. And I thank you for your comments because we are all, you see, yeah, social media has provided us a medium through which we can shape the society for the better. But please, you see, if over 400 people watched a video and today I'm still having a, uh, what do you call, subscriber, subscriber, subscriber base of 36, that tells you that we are not clicking the button, please. Press the button. Even before, as you are watching now, just press the button. The like button as well as subscribers button. I plead with you. You know why? It is not because a speaker wants to make himself popular or wants to, no. It has to, has to rate, you know, the impact that we are making. It helps us, it helps us also to know that, look, People are really thinking alongside with us. You may agree, you may disagree. At least it tells us that you care about the topic that we are talking about. So please endeavor to subscribe. It's very important. 10% of our total base, in fact, 400 and something, 36 is not even 10%. <laughs> 36 is just 10%, it's just 30% uh, of. 36 is not 10% of uh, 400 plus. So that's not a good one. Don't let us be lazy about it. It's a serious business. God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. He will live. So, I'll go on. The microphone is uh, gone off. I hope you are hearing me well. In Yekiti, in the last two years, I've witnessed a lot of ups and downs. We've lost so many important personalities in the year, whom we have mourned. And uh, in the process, we also lost our king, late uh, Oba John Ademola Jakaye. May he so rest in peace. We lost we lost a number of, not just prominent, when you talk of prominent, everybody is prominent. We lost quite a number of people in the year, such that we became so worried what was happening. Then, in between, 
issue of security also came. It became a terrible thing that during the period that there was a vacuum in the stool of the Oluye of Iyekiti. That tells us how important an Oba is in this domain. Security was let loose. A lot of things also happened. The hoodlums started killing people, innocent people. To God be the glory, we have a king now. But we thank God that that has subsided. And uh, thereafter, we also lost more people, such that we became worried again what was happening. But I know God Almighty will stem or put an end, a permanent end. There are, there are periods like this, even in personal lives, in family lives, we, are, we begin to record some deaths, we begin to record some, some things will be happening, but God Almighty will calm the storm for us in the Yekiti, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me take off from where I stopped from my other videos. I did make a promise then that I'm appealing to two of us now. Those of you who are in your sons and daughters, locally and in diaspora, I'm appealing to you very seriously. Iyi is our project. We must do it together. And I want to appeal to our friends, every one of us who are in your daughters and sons and we have friends, use this video, post this video to them. What are friends for? To support people in times of difficulty, even in times of peace, to surround you in times of peace and give you a sense of belonging and for you not to be alone. And also to support you and comfort you in time of troubles. So this video is for every one of us. Whether we are directly daughters and sons and daughters of him, or we are friends of sons and daughters of him. Please, I want the Spirit of God to move in you to help us to build or to, yeah, to build or rebuild or advance the cause of Iyekiti, my town. I love the town so much. It's such a place you have, you may have been hearing that Iye is uh, known for, her, for producing great men and women of honor. And unfortunately, too, <laughs> Iye also is, in, is a partaker in uh, producing some, well, the negative side we've had. But thank God they are in very, very minute uh, majority or minority. So, and uh, I seize this opportunity to appeal to our youths in particular that we should tow the path of honor. Bible says in the book of uh, Proverbs, Chapter 1, verse 7. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So a lot, our youth should fear God. Please, I beg of you, let us build in you. Let us not destroy him. We've heard of renowned names of great men, architects, first architect of Nigeria also. I think it's Professor Adeyemi, if I'm correct. And so on. And then, late, uh, our daddy late, uh, General Adeyika Adebayo, we know them, and quite a lot of other sons and daughters, prominent here and there. So please, what we want in, in, in is for you to continue to make good progress. So let those youths who are still towards, tilting towards negativity to so please, because it's not good that they mention your name and they mention it in a negative way form. So that's my appeal. Then the second appeal is this, as I said earlier, I need you to support E. We are to help one another. In terms of security in particular, safety and security, 
Thank God the time the the, the 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 tide is down now, and I pray that it goes off completely. And um, we need a kind of support that will help us to beef our security up. In Yekiti, when the tide of these uh, killings and killings and killings were so much rose to the unacceptable level, Yekiti took a lot of steps, that is, to beef up the security. As a result, they did employ a lot of local uh, security agents. I want to commend our uh, OPC people who are in the, thank you for the voluntary job and a job that was well done. You rose to our help physically when the challenges were there. We also thank the police force. So you're coming to establishing your post in the, that is your divisional office in the was a blessing. In fact, it manifested during this uh, recent robbery that happened in our bank. We thank you for your gallantry. We thank you for all your efforts, especially the uh, the head of the command, the divisional police officer. We thank you. We also thank your men and women who rose to the occasion. We thank the police security men who were for the who were attached to the bank. You did your best. Don't be demotivated by the messages of discouragement that some people are saying that the police are coward and all this. Don't subscribe to that. Nobody wants to waste or lose his own loved persons. You will not be lost to your families and you will not be a loss to us in the mighty name of Jesus. So I, we commend you. However, we want to sustain the issue of maintenance of security. Apart from the OPC and all the security networks, the local men that were employed, he has a, a, a population of average of uh, 40,000 people living in that place alone, not the people that are outside the town. So you can, you can imagine the size. And the bank that they just robbed now is the only bank that is left within our vicinity. So everybody now has to go to Adu. They robbed in uh, Ilawe. That bank is closed. They robbed in Igede with fatalities, Ilawe with fatalities, Ijero with fatalities, Ido, I think, with fatalities, Ikere with fatalities, and Adu Ekitis, uh, which is even the headquarters, with fatalities. But we give glory to God that in the, it was different. Uh, I thank everybody, including the robbers themselves, who heeded the idea that, look, even if we want to take anything, let's not take lives. Honestly, I commend you. And whatever is responsible for your engaging in this thing, God will solve it for you. My appeal to you is, please, just leave this trade alone. It's a bad one. It's not just good. The trade that you cannot bestow to your children. And when you are trying to talk about it, the trade that you feel bad about, please, I appeal to you, whether you are from Inyo, you are from anywhere, diaspora, coming to trouble us in Inyo, just to make money. God says, you know, I will bless all the work of your hand. God wants you to work. He wants you to labor with your hand. He says, let him who steals stop stealing. Let him labor with his hand so that he can feed and then help others. All these things are in the Bible. Please Google it because of time now. I would have been, uh, I would have found them out. But the one that says, I will bless all the work of your hand is Deuteronomy 28. Read it from verse 10 to 14. You will see it there. God says he will make you head. You don't need to steal. Just do a good work. Stealing is not a good work. It's not a good work. 
It's not something that you can be proud of. I remember, I'm half a year later, we're going to leave this world. Hmm? So, where will you end your life? So, I plead with you. If any of you participated in the, uh, whatever happened in the I uh, have the privilege of watching this video. Let me appeal to you. Not at all. I know something is responsible for, for your doing it. No jobs. No jobs. Uh, because the Bible itself says, say, Lord, don't let me be poor. Otherwise, I may steal. Don't let me be too rich. Otherwise, I will deny you. You can see. So something is responsible to the temptation for you to take to this business that is not good. It's not good. You can still be rich without hurting anybody. I thank you for not taking any life. And I, please, for now, anywhere you operate, and I plead with you, as I said, just stop it. It's possible for you to be rich without stealing. But anywhere you still operate or you, op you are operating, please stop taking life. Money can be recovered. If money is not recovered, money can go. But let lives not be taken. Because once it is taken, it cannot be restored by man. You can't restore the life. So I, I thank you and I plead with you. Let's work together. Taking to a robbery is not the answer. God will meet you at the point of your need. And as you hit this call, I know that heaven will open for you in the mighty name of Jesus. So let's build a good society. Let's be our brother's keeper, not our brother's killers. So that be that as it may. So one thing that the area that I'm concerned with now that I want, I need help. I will do my little bit. I'm doing it and I will still do more by God's grace. As much as God helps me, might be little, but I will always be part of it. Please, I need you to support me to help my town. And what do I need from you? Anything, any amount of money, it should be money, money so that it can go directly for the purpose. The purpose of raising funds for this security team is to be able to pay the salaries of our night guards. A lot of them were recruited. I'm a member of IPFU. I'm the legal advisor. I used to be the vice president up till the last election. So I'm, I know what I'm saying. I'm part and parcel of what is going on in you so that you will be better. I need you to support me to help to keep our security network alive by contributing to the post whereby these um, security men can be paid their income. You can make a pledge. You can text me. My telephone number is 80 344 80-344-65225. Then how do I want you to help me? I have the I did make a promise in my earlier video that I will send the bank account of IPFU. IPFU is the uh, let me say is the union that sees to the development, including security, social welfare, and everything of in is an appendage of the Oluyin Council that is the palace itself is the one that is responsible for taking care of you know many things in the society so this time around we are talking of um, of um, security therefore I have the bank account of IPFU with me here, and I will dictate the number now. Just pay straight to that account. Just pay straight to that account. All I need from you is just kindly forward your payment, uh, transfer the money to the place. It's easy now. We don't even need to go to the bank and be filling tellers again. Just your alert. 
that with which you sent the money. Just transfer it, just forward it to the number I earlier gave, 080-344-65225, so that I will report your payment in that account. If you want the receipt, we, IPFU will give you a receipt through me. So just help me. The account number is 012246-8782. Again, 012246-8782. That is, and just write IPFU in Progressive Federal Union. But just write IPFU. That might just be okay. Oh, once you do that account number, the name will come out. So as soon as you are able to channel your money to that account and you got your alert, just forward to me the uh, alert. Just forward it to me. When I get to the meeting, I will report it. If you need a receipt, we will give. But we will surely acknowledge because it goes straight to the bank account. There is no doubt. Please, I need you to help me. I know you love me. And uh, by extension, you love my people. We don't want to be uh, sleeping with eyes open anymore. So please, help, help me, help us. As you do so, God will bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I look forward to hearing from you. Send it to your children. Send it to your friends. Let your friends send it to their friends. And then, if you are from in, you know that that one doesn't require any, doesn't require any <laughs> begging. We must build in you together. And you must be safe. So, and in YouTube, the people are doing their best too, because for your information now, every home is, every house is expected to contribute at least 500 naira every month. That will go a long way. But I want to tell you, the challenges are so enormous that that will not be enough, and it needs to be sustained. So please, help us, help me, help us in you. As you do so, your own towns will not witness unrest in the mighty name of Jesus. Your villages shall develop and shall advance. This money is security. You can put it there in your, if possible, in your transfer mode or teller. Just add it, security, security, so that we'll be able to identify it. If you are using a USSD, you may not be able to put the purpose there. But all you just do is transfer. Once you send it to me, once I see your alert, whatever, I will, uh, I will, I will know. In fact, that will help me to tell the treasurer to put that money aside for security as your donation for security, and we will uh, acknowledge. And then, when you are forwarding your alert, you know, bank alerts has a way of carrying your balance, which is, which may encroach into your privacy. Don't what you need to do is just copy it and paste it. Then before you forward, before you click the send button, just erase the balance side, the balance alone. Let all the other messages remain. Erase that balance so that your privacy is not encroached upon. Because I know that some people, when they see a lot and they see your balance, they say, ah, this man can do more than this, as if you don't have your own responsibilities. We are not witches and wizards who are poking or who are poking into your purse. Whatever you give to us, nothing is too small. 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 1 million, 10 million. We go a long way. And if there is any other way, you can even be partner with us. Okay, annually, I will be giving you this amount just to support the cause of your time. As you do so, God will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. So thank you so much for listening to this message. Please, all of you from me that receive this message, please circulate it to all your children, your brothers, your sisters, everybody. 
let them send their money straight into IPFD account. Then let us do it together. Together we do it better. In your neighbor, Jenny Batiwa, or by Jen Batan, because in your neighbor, Jenny, in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. I pray for everyone that will contribute to this post that your life shall be secured, your children shall be secured, your towns shall be secured, your jobs shall be secured, your businesses shall be secured. Everything, your homes shall be secured. Everything you have stake in will secure, will be secured. Even, I want to assure you, because you love us and you're helping us, your heaven will be secured in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray for your children who will heed this call to help in Yekiti. I pray that as I have decreed that their life shall be secured, you shall Honor that my word in the mighty name of Jesus. And let every one of them that say we will help you to secure your town. I pray there is nothing in this world that will bring you down. Nothing in this world that will bring you low in the mighty name of Jesus. Good news shall we continue to hear from you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be to your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you for hearing. Once again, please share, like, subscribe to this channel. God bless you. That's my little way of also enlarging the development fund for this time. That is particularly, my focus is on security for now. God bless you.